What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius. Today we got Demon Slayer episodes five and six of season three. Remember, if you guys want the full uncut, unedited version, check out the Patreon. Links are down below. You can also get early access to the other shows. Don't forget to leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in that comment section and subscribe. It helps the channel out immensely. Let's hop right into today's episodes. Demon Slayer season three, episodes five and six. All right, here we go. Uichiro running with Kotetsu, going over to Hotaru, going to protect the swordsmiths. Okay, we have a new sword ready for Uichiro. I'm ready for it. What's here? What's here? Gyako? Are we going to get Hantangu versus uh, Genya, Nezuko, and Tanjiro, and then Muichiro versus Gyako by himself, 1v1? Hey, oh, Even the guy ringing the alarm gets murked. That's, I'm worried about lots of the swordsmiths in this village. I mean, maybe for the future, I can't say right now because it's kind of hindsight, but in the future, we definitely need at least one Hashira in the village at all ways to protect it. Speaking of, let's see it, Mystery. Let's see it. <laughs> now, I have seen her sword in the trailers and stuff. I do know it like bends. I don't know how that all works or what that is. Please, yes. Oh my god, she is so badass. We have like four magic carp fishermen into one. Is that the chief? There are demon slayer guards who have been, but they're clearly not Hashira because there's no need to be. They're that secret if no one's ever going to get in the village, but you know, it's very unfortunate. Thank the Lord she's here. That's I'm I need to know the, the details. I've heard the rumors. Love breathing. First form. Shivers of first love. I don't know what the fuck that means, but it sounded beautiful. Oh! With the delayed effect. I love it. No pun intended. He got the shit crushed out of him. Without his ma with with his mask on, I can't tell like how injured he is. If he were to die, this would be one way to go out. In the arms of a beautiful lady. <laughs> that would be me. Oh. I need help. Okay, because they were knocked out from the fan, pushing them straight down. I remember. Shout out Nezuko, getting us back on the move again. One of you guys, let me know in the comments. Huge shout out to you that the spear is sadness, the fan is pleasure, the flying is joy, and the lightning is anger for the emotion. Anyone who helps me out in the comments with info, I love you guys. I do like how Nezuko was first to wake up and save Tanjiro from the situation, but now we have to, you know, that's that's a good relationship right there. We do what we can for each other. Oh my god. Stay together no matter what. Okay. Let me, that wind is going to be blasting you. Why is she holding on to the sword so tight? What is she trying to imply? I know she can't talk. Maybe she's trying to tell us something. You trying to imbue her uh, exploding demon blood into it like that one time against Rui? I don't know. So he's an artist. He loves showing off his creations. Oh, that vase just appeared out of nowhere. Oh. That is so dark, disturbing, and sad. Of course, they know everyone here. This was insanely sad. Uncle Tetsuhiro. They are moved, but for a different reason. Fuck, Jesus, hell. And it seems like they're, what, on the verge of death? They're not even dead yet? 
刀をひねっていただき。<笑>Vases does he have? That's the one way to push his button to get him to start fighting is to attack his art. Same thing with Tanjiro. I love how observative Muichiro is. We have to figure out their powers before we can beat them. It's so hard because they're so OP. That's a fair point. I would also. Assume that. Thousand Needle Fish Kill? I actually like the way those are like animated. I like the CG on them. They look like Magic Carp. It looks like some fucking. Did Muijiro tank that? Or block it? He. Oh! My God. Yeah, you guys gotta get out of here. You guys are a liability. This guy, Muijiro, is a savage. Of course, it's not going to be an upper moon if they're not poisoned. Every one of them has poison. It's so annoying. Assuming it has to do with the demon that originally attacked him. Mm. I need those memories. When I finally get that backstory, I can't wait. It was summer. It was hot. And just like that, not only can he produce a bunch of what's with his obsession with water, water fish, water prison pot. Okay, Kakashi, I think this is Zabuza, and it's a flexible prison, so you can't really pierce it, you know? Yeah, and that's a good point. You can't breathe. That's actually a really good anti demon slayer prison. All right, Nezuko. Why are you holding on to a sword, girly? Please let me know. I know you're a smart, smart cookie. This is what I said. Are you imbuing it? She's literally doing some swordsmith shit herself. She's forging it. Enveloped in exploding blood. That's what. I, come on. Oh my god. That looks like something you'd get as like a a level up in like a game, you know. Another inherited memory, which I don't want to sound like an idiot, but thank you guys to let me know that we have had Tanjiro's name, dad's name, for a long, long time. It's been so long I forgot. His name is Tanjiro. So the flashback we saw in which the guy who was made the doll after from the Sengoku period 300 years ago, he, assumedly, I still don't know, uh, saved this family from a demon attack. And in their debt to him, and, you know, obviously they're going to welcome him into their home, give him food, whatever, but they're going to name their firstborn after him, all this, that, and the third. And I'm assuming that's like Tanjiro's ancestral line, which is just so, so cool to me. I love this whole inherited memory thing, you know? It gives me such Attack on Titan vibes. Mm-hmm. Talking to himself right now. Scarred, battered, tattered, and ruined. Cool. Shouts out to everyone we've come in contact with, man. All legends. I love that. The hand on the back. I love that in anime in general. Shit's hitting right now. You don't need the smoke to clear. We got a bright ass. So <laughs> this is the same shot from the opening, right? Just except. He didn't have the Nezuko blood, he had the his fire. Yep, just like Yutaro and Daki, they can feel Muzan's memories. And nearly beheaded Muzan. We got the sun breathing tattoo on. We got the Hinokami Kagura Sun Halo Dragon with Nezuko.
Sun Halo Dragon Head Dance. Oh my god, that was beautiful. I got goosebumps. Just one more. Look at that red ass blade. The last one was right there. I was just about to say, where is Sadness? He's with Kenya. Kenya's been going crazy. Oh my god. Is that is that like all of them dead? Is that is that it? What did they fucking go into Genya now? Is he a demon? Did they take over his body? They put Muzan's blood in him? What? He is. Thank the Lord, I have more episodes I'm watching. All right, on to episode six, right where we left off. I can see Genya just turning to Tanjiro right there. I need to know what happened. Is he a full-blown demon now? Did they get Muzan's blood in him? Does it have to do with his brother, his power, regeneration? I can't regenerate. The pain is scorching me. What is the secret to beating Hantengu? That most definitely could be. I love the way they do this like smoky, foggy, in internalizing, you know, the visualization of this. Oh. Is that why they split into five actually? Is he like, is he hiding the whole time? Yeah. So he's not full blown demon because he's talking. He's going to be a Hashira. He's like, sure. Right? I got no problems with that. Let's do it. You can be a Hashira. There's no beef here, bud. He sees no hostility in Tanjiro's eyes. This man is the most genuine person in the world. Watch out. And he's just saved him and possibly tanked some lightning for him. 1v4, Genya vs. All. I don't know how he's going to do it. Yes. <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm Nezuko. <laughs> I do love how we have two Upper Moon battles going on at the same time right now. It's Han Tangu still. So that's why he's so timid and paranoid all the time, because he keeps those four emotions like joy, anger, sadness, and passion like secluded, locked away in his own you know bodies. Goaded Nezuko, good stuff. Oh, never mind, man. They did that wood. That was a good little. He's trying though. You like how his water vases have like water on them? I won't lie. I hate Gyoko, but his bases are kind of pretty, though. I might, I would buy one, put some stuff in it, you know. I hate how his eyeballs are his mouths, you know. Like it's so weird. The designs for the upper moons are insanely good. I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm mm, freaking out over here. <laughs> All of his reports. <laughs> Don't be distracted him for a second. <laughs> to being depleted. Down below. Oh. Oh my god. He's. Oh my lord. This would be a. Hunting would be a hard ass person to fight. Hard ass demon to fight. What? What? Even though it's so small, a Nichirin sword can't go through his neck? Is he like emboldened? Is he hardened? It's no bigger than my finger. 
And he's just tanking an Ichirin bullet too? Look at his older bar. The wind Hashira. I need to know more, man. I want to know so much. Give me the backstory right now if need be. This never got acknowledged. I need to know more. I need to know more. Oh, multiple siblings. There's a baby Genya. You know a backstory in Demon Slayer is never going to be happy though. It's always going to be tragic. I have a feeling all these kids aren't going to make it. I have a feeling their mom's not going to make it. Oh, no. Oh. So that's what gave him that infamous scar. sad the sun's finally rising he was able to kill it wait is she was it her... she was a demon does it have to do with their family line is that why genya turns into a demon Why'd you kill her? I mean, obviously he's young. He's not gonna know the he, he doesn't know even about it. Yeah. <laughs> so I would love to get post that flashback. I want to know where their relationship kept going. Did they both get become like a Hashira's apprentices after that? They both joined the Demon Slayer Corps. What? Oh my God! Was that a tragically dark backstory? So their mom was a demon who killed. Oh my God! And then. Big brother, uh, I don't even think I have Wind Hashira's name. I do need to definitely get it down. But Genya's big bro felt the need to do it, uh, took responsibility, killed their mother. And then Genya, obviously unable to comprehend what happened. I wouldn't be able to comprehend what happened. I, uh, that is crazy, man. But now that he knows, he obviously feels bad for the awful things he said. So maybe it doesn't have to do with their family power or anything. Maybe she just ran into a demon who, a Muzan, who gave her blood, you know? Again, you never stopped to realize what his brother was going through. He probably was just shattered. Jeez, that's some good introspection though from Genya. Because that probably did make him feel just awful. Yep. That was the promise. And now to go from how he is right here to how he was stabbing Nezuko during the Hashira meeting in the first season. That's one thing I will say. I am so excited to rewatch the entirety of Demon Slayer, knowing everyone's stories and how it affects their character. Oh, I cannot wait. Cannot wait. <laughs> damn, damn. You can't use breathing techniques at all? Hold on, I don't want to pause this. My neighbor's dog was going crazy. I had to close the window. So he can't use breathing techniques at all. Only Hashiras can meet other Hashiras. Is that why it was such a big deal for Andrew to have a meeting with all the Hashiras? You know, this is so crazy. Slow poke like you, you're no... Oh, wow. All he wants is acknowledgement and to say he's sorry. Inya has a really good story. 
Shouts out to Tanjiro, though. This is going to open his new, whole new perspective on things. We got you, Genya. We got you, buddy. Keep going. We'll support you as long as we need. Oh, that's one thing that Genya and Tanjiro can relate on is their stories. That's so sad. Come on. This is some tough love that he needed. Come on, Genya. Do the same thing for Tanjiro. Help him. Genya, Genya tanked it. Because he's a real one. I see a hole. Oh! This is some true character development. Oh my god. He will be your shield. And he's willing to give up the, the glory, the honor. Gonna let you take down one of the upper moons. I love the red sword right now. It looks so fucking clean. I love that we can call upon that. Oh! Thank the Lord, I'm watching more. Talk about some amazing episodes. The fighting's not stopping. We're not stopping. We're getting right into it. Continue going. Shout out to Mitsuri and her work with trying to keep the village chief, al chief alive. Shout out to Muichiro and his work on keeping Kanamori, I think his name is, and Hotaru and Kotetsu alive. His, uh, he's right now going to be going against Gyoko. Super excited about that. He was able to tank those needles. I am loving the powers between the uh, upper moons right now. The lower moons, I mean. Uh, like, I'm loving their powers. Between splitting into four emotions and then his artwork for Gyo. It's so different, so unique, but so powerful and OP at the same time. Really enjoying this fight. Really enjoying Genya as a character, his backstory. Really starting, Muichiro starting to grow on me. I already love Mitsuri. I already love Tanjiro and Nezuko. I'm just... I can't say that I'm shocked because we've had them in every other arc, but it's just so crazy having this without Zenitsu and Inosuke, you know, like, I cannot wait. I am loving this so far. I'm watching two more episodes in this little recording session that I'm doing, so I'm about to hop into them. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, uh, this bunch of episodes. If you did, please leave a like, let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Check out that Patreon for early access, the full uncuts, all that jazz. Uh, don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a good day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.